Hey guys, in this episode we will be delving fully into the Hush Puppy scandal and you know, <laughs> we'll be delving also into the development of the Banj saga, yeah? And did you also know that we have dolphins in Nigeria? If you don't, ladies and gentlemen, you have come to the right place because well, this is the right place where we talk about all the news or should I say newsworthy events of the past week. We also talk about trading topics and we also talk about what is happening in the Twitter land. Wahala of Twitter. Welcome to Akabats. And we also get to have a good laugh about it. <laughs> Welcome to Akabans. If you are just joining us, welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> you are about to join an amazing family. So guys, please make sure you go subscribe. Click that like button, you know, and we'll be expecting you in the comment section. Just let us know. I'm a new subscriber. We'll be like, hey, let me assure you something. Let me assure you something. Everybody who is a pure banter, a banter squad, all of them have sense. I can vouch for all my banter squad guys. We all have sense. So you're welcome to an amazing family, guys. All right. So let's get right into what we are here to discuss today on the show. All right. So as you well know, we had reported earlier that Hush Puppy was arrested. Well, if you haven't seen the video, go check my previous video on the channel, alright? Well, we now have details of how deep this guy's crime goes. Look, when the Dubai media office released this video, we had to admit that, yo, 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 international news media outlets, it hits different. They ban different when they're talking about crimes that have been perpetrated by Nigerians. Because this video, oh my gosh, see facts. They they went to now use VFX. They shot this video like a movie. They did fade black, fade out, fade in. They did VFX, picture, graphics. But I can't blame them because, to be honest, my countrymen and my politicians, they're the ones that are encouraging such. But when you read the news articles, that's where you'll be hearing most worstest, blackest, most wickedest, highest. Most dangerous, heinous. That's where you will hear words like that when they are reporting Nigerian criminals. Then they will mention Nigeria 10 times, regardless of the fact that the person that they are talking about has dual citizenship. They will forget that that person is a citizen of their land. No. They will send him back to where whence he came from. They will remember that his father's father was Nigerian. Dubai police have once again solved yet another case involving an international online scammer known as Raymond Abbas, but who goes by Hush Puppy on social media platforms. In less than just four months, Dubai's police force was able to solve the new operation, dubbed Fox Hunt 2, where 12 other gang members were also arrested. Six raids were carried out simultaneously while the suspects were sleeping in their Dubai residences. After months of investigating and hours of monitoring the gang's social media accounts, a team of highly trained Dubai police officers were able to confirm the gang's whereabouts and fraudulent activities. The Nigerian Instagram celebrity, who was arrested on multiple fraud charges for crimes committed in different parts of the world, boasted about his wealth and expensive possessions on social media, claiming he is a successful businessman. Little did Abbas know, Dubai e-police teams were tracking his every move and taking note of all his social media activities. Hush Puppy and his team of scammers were known for creating fake pages for existing websites in order to redirect victims' payments to their own accounts. <laughs> 
Dubai police have also found that the gang specialised in hacking corporate emails and sending fake messages to clients in order to redirect financial transfers and people's bank details to their own accounts. Before their arrest, Abbas and his crew members were responsible for scams amounting to 1.6 billion dirhams. In the operation, police officers were also able to seize items worth more than 150 million dirhams after they claimed 21 computers, 47 smartphones, 15 storage memory devices and 5 hard disks containing data 1,926,400 victims. Additionally, 13 luxury cars worth 25 million dirhams were bought by Hush Puppy and his gang, using the money stolen from people who have been scammed. Once again, Dubai's police force has fulfilled its commitment to protecting millions of people both locally and around the world from such malicious crimes. It has also reiterated that it will continue to bring all cyber criminals to justice. Hey, yeah. did you just say 1.6 billion dirhams? Is that what people hear? Because it's what I found. Let me calculate this thing because. In dollars is four hundred and thirty five million uh -huh. six hundred and eleven uh -huh. two hundred dollars. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. One, one dirham is one hundred and five naira. Oh, so let me calculate how much it is in Naira. Wait, if one dirham is 105 Naira, and these people stole 1.6 billion dirhams. My God, how much is it in Naira? <laughs> yeah, Boris Kabal, they cannot, they not, they not send this kind of money. A whole nation cannot give them this kind of money to steal. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's pressing zero and they're afraid. I'm afraid to press the zero in my calculator. Hey, hey, hey. 168 billion. Jagons because it's too much. Oh, what is it? 168 billion, 799 million, 340,000 naira. Hey! That's what somebody decided to steal for himself. This is not what the man do. It can't be possible. Am I? What makes you? Are you sleep? Hey, I'm lost for what? Speechless, speechless. That's how you make me feel. Now, do you think that the police that have caught him, Interpol, they can get all that money back? Because I'm sure in his trip to Nigeria, he would have stored hard cash inside bubble. He will wrap it. Then bury the money, no matter the years. If you like, they give him one million years in jail, he will come out. Because people like these, they have to be foolish to think that they will never be caught. They must have, they must have planned for the day that they will be caught. So one day, when they come out, they will be ready. They will have something to eat. Ah, ah. So this guy must have a built house, bury the money in the ground, or maybe inside GP tank, or they built the house. They created a room, just locked it up in that room. Oh. To find that house now, now, wow, wow. 
then they would now now they would have fortified it with jazz. You don't think that this guy has jazz, man? Be there now. Be there. Whoa. Even now, I'm sure as he's in that interpol and they ask him, they say, Uncle Hush Puppy. Um, Hush Puppy, you have one call to make, okay? One call to make. Alright, have your phone call. Hush Puppy. <phone rings> Baba. My son. Baba, I know work. They don't catch me, no work. They don't catch me, the protection no work. I die out. The gods they quarantine as we did so. I will hear see one of them even don't get guru. <laughs> but do you think Hush Puppy will ever come out of prison? <laughs> Let, let's calculate it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, stealing 100 mi 1 million naira, which is $2,000 from one person, can easily get you five, 5 years in prison, in jail, okay? So, because in the report they told us that they have duped 1,926,400 people at least. 1 million, that's 5 years times 1,926,400 people. There was plenty. We can't even count them in number. That's 9 million. 632,000 years in jail then divided by 13 people him and his crew guys one person is going to get 740,923 years in prison not so bad <laughs> Woo! Nigerians at this point they are like Baba do give, Bro, it, do give it away now since your old dumb cast just bless your boy Bless your boys. Ah! Do you know if us, Baba? Us will be like, instead of this nigga to get this money back, let me give, to give away for my people in Nigeria. Please, my phone, just put me on social media for one hour. Give away, give away, give away, give away. He'll be dashing everybody money. Yay! Plus his friend, Daddy Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I was even going to say that, yo, Daddy Freeze has not said Film since this thing started. He didn't mention film that Nigerians can give up. Because Daddy Freeze is the leader of the Free the Shippo movement. He is the one fighting for good morals and people to stand for what is right and shouting at pastors for stealing people's money. But this man is a good friend of Hush Puppy, who is a rogue. And Daddy Freeze and his wife went to spend time with him, saw him in Dubai, they spent time in Dubai, you know, he even entered this car, they drove around, it was so sweet to each other, we so enjoying each other's life. People dragged Daddy Freeze. Say, Baba, come and explain yourself, your friend is in prison. Now, but it wasn't even about that, it wasn't just about that, it was just about the fact that he openly and unashamedly felicitated with him on social media. But, you know what, after all this said and done, Free should have just kept quiet. But he now entered the trap and now went to back. Now went to talk. Will not end. And I'm, a lot of people are saying I should address something. I'm going to give 5k to the person who can explain this scripture well. Are you guys ready for the scripture? 5k up for grabs just explain the scripture very well i will not say anything beyond that can somebody type this verse for me right there matthew chapter 2 sorry mark chapter 2 verse 15 let's do this i was having a a, a show uh the other day and you know um, a few minutes ago and you know my problem with you is nigerians are just the funniest of people i am glad I am not accountable to you people. When they pay my bill, why am I accountable to you people? Someone says you are mad. You don't need my 5K. Just look at his Please, please. Before I block him, just look at his face. Look at him. You don't need 5K, bro. You need 1-5 to revolutionize your life. Oh, remove a pele baby or let you, know? Come out for here, John. Now you're kind of defined. Now because I did radio, now I no get your time. I get your time now. Which I go tell you, if you know drink sniper, now smoke will remain. 
Mark chapter 2, verse 15. Somebody says, I'm a hypocrite. Explain this verse to me. Later, Levi invited Christ and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. There are many people of this kind among Christ's followers. Explain that scripture to me. When you can, we'll talk further. Until then, Explain that scripture to me. When I don't quiet, explain that scripture to me. He should have not talked. He should have not responded, but he did. And then I had to respond to. Oh, I was typing my script for Akabat. I just saw it and I was like, you know what? I kept the laptop by the side. I said, I have this man's time today. He quoted scripture. He quote scripture and then misinterpreted like he didn't even misinterpret. He gave room for misinterpretation. You see how he is back playing mind games. He gave room for misinterpretation for people to give their own. And so go doing it under the guise that he's right. He quoted Mark chapter 2, verse 15. So go check out that scripture. But let me tell you guys. <laughs> I wasn't having it. Compare yourself with my Lord Jesus Christ? No, bro. I had to talk. Ah. So, guys, check my description box for the link. Um, check my description box to click the link that has the details to my reply. Okay, and you can check it out on Instagram too. I also put it on Instagram. Literally, my open letter to Daddy Freeze. I mean, I wouldn't have said anything if he just maybe even just was his usual self insulting somebody or misyanning but then he quoted scripture i was trying to play like what he did is what jesus did or will do nah i was nah mm -mm. now dog news the one that paid me most is the response of the efcc to this whole saga when interpol had released their you know, report that oh, they've caught hush puppy. <laughs> yes, she responded. I gave them, but before we go into that, let's go for this quick commercial break and we'll be right back. For ad placement on Akabans, email akka.management at gmail.com. Now, welcome back. Like I said, EFCC now put out a tweet and I couldn't take it. Ray Hush puppy has a case to answer with EFCC. Nigerian most wanted hacker Ramone Igbalode, alias Ray Hush puppy recently arrested by the international police interpol and the federal bureau of investigation fbi has considerable cases of cyber crimes being investigated by the efcc oh the commission is familiar with grisly details of his money laundering transactions involving many high profile cyber criminals facing trial in nigeria the commission is engaged with the FBI in tracing victims of his fraudulent transactions and other fraudsters having direct involvement with him. Local cyber criminals with money laundering networks with him are also being investigated. Hush Puppy was arrested on Wednesday, June 10th, 2020 in Nigeria in United Arab Emirates in connection with a $35 million ventilator scam. And, oh, Nigerians gave it to them. But let me first give you what I gave them first. I still can't get over how shameless these clowns are every time they have no chill in showing their hand gandu and tinubu are here free there is ample proof of their corruption and money laundering but they want to chase clouds irritants <laughs> nigerians of course had a thing or two to say osemekbe irabo says we don't want your corrupt hands in this matter leave him for fbi Biko. On the other hand, there is a video of cash-loaded bullion driving into Tinubu's house. There's also a video of Ganduji accepting bribe in dollars. Several videos. That's enough proof to arrest them. Shameless agency. The worst that got to me was most wanted. Nigeria most wanted hacker. When did he become most wanted? After he was, he was uh, arrested? Please, dears. Makulu says, when was, he, when was he wanted? You never declared him wanted until the Interpol arrested him. Oh, 
How is he now the most wanted? FBI must not listen to these losers. Has the EFCC has a history of releasing fraudsters and money launderers. Hush Puppy's crime outside Nigeria is greater than whatever you guys have on him in Nigeria. Let him be tried in by the FBI where justice will not be manipulated, Biko. Oh, when a people have such distrust of their agencies, then the pot is about to explode. Dude's not a hacker. He's not bright enough to be a hacker, period. If there's any hacking involved, it's someone else. Makes sense. But I am seven says, but Una never for once declares I'm wanted now. Not even for once did you people say anything about him. And Hush Puppy no be hacker now. First time be. I beg allow America run the show, no carry your bad market, come spoil them. They chase your most they chase your muscle and bends your who boys. I beg. <laughs> Capri Soul says there is a difference between hacker and the fraudster. Stop being disgraceful, man. So you know what's funny? How Nigerians... That's why sometimes I tire. How Nigerians just back nonsense. They stand for nonsense. Now, in 2018, Comrade DG Adeyandu says, My attention was just drawn to the response of that Yahoo boy. The only people who go will kill are those who swindle other people of their hard-end funds and sacrifice innocent girls to their diabolical young girls. I challenge her people to a debate in front of EFCC office. Look at people's responses. Envy will not kill you, sir. Hush Puppy doesn't even live in Nigeria. All of a sudden, he's the one holding your destiny. Erosion says, I commend you for your great works in the streets of Abuja, but leave street boys alone. Let God do the judgment, not you. Find, fight those who are stealing the public wealth. Don't waste your time. Fighting those who are in the streets struggling to survive. It's misplaced priority. I don't understand. I don't understand. So struggling to survive on the street now means being a thief? Causing millions of people to suffer and some to die? Because I can assure you that some of the people who they've swindled have died as a result of this. Some have gotten a stroke. Some have died out of, out of just heart attack. Depression. And then some dreams have, and life's visions have been truncated. Some people were not able to go to school because their monies were stolen. I personally have an uncle who, who didn't know what happened. $20,000 just, boom, left his, they hacked into his email account. And you know, people are saying that they did it, they are doing it because they are taking it back from the Americans who took our money and our art. Excuse me, they don't just do it to the white people, they do it to Nigerians. Oh, so I don't understand. Somebody on the street is hustling wrongly and doing illegal shit. We can't talk about that. So what you're saying is we should only talk about the politicians who are doing bad or stealing. We shouldn't talk about the people on the streets who are stealing. Calling out people on the streets who steal, does that negate or encourage politicians to steal? I don't understand, Mr. Ero Ocean. Bikinjoku says, distinguished. Is Yahoo Yahoo a legitimate struggle? Thank you. Is, is, if your answer is no, then it makes sense for a man who is committed to confronting social vices to do so in its entirety, whether perpetrated by government against people or by people against people. So forget morality. This Oro Orosha says, forget morality. Leave that to employees and civil servants. Hey, God, this is how Nigerians think. Do you know the quantity of crude oil Shell, Chevron, ExxonMobil are taking out from the Niger Delta without the knowledge of DR, DPR and NPC, NNPC? The Yahoo Yahoo started from the white man. Yes, it did start from the white man. Now, we are not, we are not supporting them. And that's why we're calling for a change of systems now. That's why we're fighting for black lives. That's why we're saying no to oppression and segregation. This is what we are all talking about. It's cool. Plus, you have to understand that the only reason why um, ExxonMobil and Shell can do these things and steal crude oil in, from Nigeria is because we allow it. Our politicians allow it. Okay? But you also have to remember that our politicians come from us as people. And so if we as a people cannot call out evil, we cannot punish people who do evil, then our politicians will never do better. Because we are a reflection. Our politicians are a reflection of who we are. Period. We are a society that doesn't know right from wrong anymore. Simple as that. Everything is great. We don't know right from wrong. Everybody does what they want to do. Rape is on the increase. 
Murder is on the increase. Stealing is on the increase. Corruption is number one in Nigeria. Poverty is everywhere. Everybody chasing after what they want and only what for themselves. Health sector, down. Educational sector, down. Transport sector, down. Business palliatives, down. A governor just passed away because of COVID-19. This man was governor for eight years and he couldn't have one hospital in his state, one hospital in his state that could attend to his health. Not one in the state that he was governor in. He was in Nigeria, but not in Oyo, the state in which he was governor. Apart from him being governor of HS, he's put his person in power. They couldn't get build one ultra modern, sophisticated hospital. It's a shame. It's a shame. Most of the people who are calling out hush puppy, yes. But you see, we are somebody put out a tweet and I read it. Nigeria is a sanctimonious society. Double faced. You will see governor's children, the children of the corrupt politicians who are eating the corrupt money, calling out people like Hush Puppy and saying that they are that they are thieves. Your father is a thief too. Let's call out, let's call it out, let's call it speedy speed. Now, I have so friends whose fathers are governors, I have friends who father, whose fathers and parents are excellencies. And to be honest, those they're good people, they're cool people. But we also have to understand that your father, your mother, they are bullshit. They are bullshit. They have caused the suffering. They have caused the, 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 the downward spiral of a nation of hundreds and millions of people. Generations to come, not just one generation. Because when you take food away from one man, when you, give, when you take light away from one man or one woman, you literally take light away from them and their children, possibly their children's children. So when you stop good education, when you stop good healthcare, when you when you when you don't create good roads and people die on the roads, you're killing people. So if your father is part of that system, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss, to be honest. But bro, I am not sorry when evil people die. I gotta say it. I gotta speak my mind. We have to call people who are evil are evil and they will pay for their sins the bible is clear on that destruction will come to the house of the wicked period the only saving grace is that when the children of the wicked become born again but they must also remember to restitute restitution let me go back to what i'm talking about because i almost lost it there <laughs> somebody said Bros, you get personal problem with Hush Puppy. Bros, you for relax for this matter. Somebody said, uh uh, Hush Puppy take it big now. Now, why you take para? Ooh. I challenge you, Deji. Come and debate me on Twitter on how your salary or income sustains you. Account statement. Let's know how much you receive and from who you receive them. The things you have, you have, how you got them. I will also present my account. Accept. Somebody responded and said, please bros, who are you? <laughs> Nigerians. Oh my god. And look at this tweet from Chima Iweze. She says, my friend's dad got defrauded of a sum close to 22 million naira in 2010. Man had stroke, got hospitalized, deteriorated day after day till he died. This was a very strong and successful businessman. See, Hush Puppy and his cohorts should rot in jail. And I believe that. And not just hush puppy, evil politicians. Rot in jail for the sins that you have committed and the havoc you have wreaked in our nation. Look at where we are. You go to the airport, the people looking down on you. When you go and receive, when you go for visa application, looking down on you, asking you any form of question. You then get the visa, you go abroad in the airport, they're still embarrassing you. Immigration is still giving you high. Customs is checking you like as if you carry drugs. Shame. Some of you who, who your parents are politicians, cover your face in shame. If you have, if you have, cover your face in shame. And you're not doing anything to help the people. See, my dears. Nigerians are dragging him now. 
but the same Nigerians are following him on Instagram. This is very true. Hush Puppy has 2 million followers on Instagram. Are they not his fans? Everybody shouting, Thief, 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 now, where are they? They are joining to call Thief when they were enjoying it. Asking for giveaway. Bros, do give away now. A well-organized co country takes the time to crack a, track a criminal and build their case against these persons. But if it were to be in Nigeria, Hush Puppy would have been out. He would have been out. Thanks to the expertise of the Dubai police, Hopi, he go in for, Hopi, Hopi go in for a very long time. I had goose pimple when I heard the part where they tracked his internet activities for months before swinging in on him. Maybe they built their evidence to the extent that once arrested, there is no escape. <laughs> Not the Mumfuka Nigerian police that will collect bribe and die the case. This guy didn't remember to buy a tre designer treadmill or register in an upscale gym. See stomach like a typical Nigerian politician. My brother, if you have that kind of money, will you be stressing yourself to go to gym? How many billionaires you don't ever see in the gym? <laughs> oh my god. EFCC must be crying just reading how much was found in cash. To be honest, yes. So my guys, you know what? That's it for Hush Puppy. Well, you guys must have heard about the latest on the saga with the band, right? Also, you can check out my last video. I had stuff to say about it. But since that video um, was posted, the IG, I mean, I'm giving you the latest development now. The IG of the police has ordered the probe of the matter. So he's quite interested in this case. And all our speculations on the events that occurred when the girl was kidnapped and we couldn't trace her have been confirmed and even worst happened. She went on to detail in a document and also shared it with us how she was kidnapped put in a cell illegally, I mean in COVID-19 time, put in a cell with people who were exposed, treated like a criminal, carried to an unknown location, was intimidated to retract her statement. All of these details she gave, perpetrated by the Banji's team. Well, I'm gonna be putting the link in the description box below, so make sure you check it out too. All right, guys? Now, my own is just the way Nigerians now are just like, the band, the band, oh, how could you do such? 19, 80% of the Nigerians who were supporting him before this girl brought out this statement, they've all changed mouths. When this girl said her story, everybody, why? This girl is lying. Baba, we support you. Now, change mouths. Well, lastly, I don't want to go, but I have to. So, have you ever wondered why Dolphin Estate has been named that? Dolphin Estate is so named because it was a major route for dolphins migrating to the South African coast. The water was shallow enough for people to go in and pet the dolphins. They stopped coming because they were hunted. They came back because lockdown. Alas, hunted again. Oh my god. As I was watching that video, my heart was just be leaping for them. I'm just like, God, please. Protect them from Nigerians who want to kill them for food and for money's sake. Amen. It's so disheartening. And so, guys, please make sure you go, maybe, if whatever you got to do on social media, tell GD Sohono to please make sure he can do what he has to do to protect these dolphins. But yeah, I got to go now. It's all right. I'm way past. It's way past time. I know. I know you're sad and I'm sad too. But please make sure to subscribe. Click the like button. And I'm going to come to the comment section to continue this banter and gist with you and, you know, reply. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, it's been nice chatting with you. Bye.